Uh, real? Okay, yep. 15, your refrigerator breaks down, you need to buy any food and restock it. 165 bucks, really. Okay. Six. Six. You might get for a special occasion. How thoughtful of you. Yeah. $75. 17. 17. My mathematician cracks his phone screen and you get it repaired at the mustache. $15 for your phone. Well, today, this is a group of juniors who are participating in Reality Store. What's the purpose of Reality Store? Uh, there's a career that they can research, find out how much money a starting salary would be, and then they come into Reality Store, set up in the gym to kind of play a simulation of the game of life. So they'll go from station to station and figure out what their monthly expenses would be. They have a checkbook register that they enter their information into. And then at the end of the month, hopefully, they will not be in the negative and they can figure out what choices they should make and determine what fits their budget best based on the, their monthly salary. I've seen a lot of surprise faces out here, which like, to me is the most fun. What is, uh, have you heard, have you overheard some of the surprises that they uh, Some of them were surprised that they still had some money left over at the end of the month, <laughs> especially based on their choices. So they realized that the more education they get, they can probably get a better paying job that will support their life choices. Awesome. All right, reality check B, medical. That's well, what happened to you. Well, well, all right, Rex, you have a baby. I do not. Oh, well, in this case, your baby would have an ear infection if the doctor visit, but if you have no baby, we're going to put zero. Say, man, you want to. 22, you visit the doctor for headaches, testing, and a prescription. Would normally rack you 350 bucks without insurance, but insurance is going to knock that down to $50. One of the reasons why we have insurance for these unplanned accidents that could happen, right? Okay, what has been the biggest surprise so far as far as expenses go? Um, probably utilities and, like, food. Yeah? Yeah. What have you guys learned today so far? Children are expensive. It's important to save money for <laughs> things that you get anticipate to come. Did this whole experience today kind of give you some insight on like what you might want to do or what you want to do through? Definitely did with the salary and then picking the lifestyle I want to live after college. What have you skimped out on so far? Well, clothing, I mean, I had to pick, uh, luckily, I thought childcare was going to hit me the hardest. Any of those things that you guys think you could like just do without? I mean, no, to be honest, I don't need a very upgraded smartphone to get from A to B. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. I could have invested in a smartphone and I'd probably be set, to be honest. Because most of the kids have smartphones, but as you would expect, the smartphones are much more expensive. That's so as they go broke, they tend to start looking at the flip phone, which I challenge them on how realistic that may or may not be. So what are you taught? What are you telling the kids about today? What are you teaching? My favorite student loans. How much they'll owe once they graduate, which I'm going through myself, and then also how much you should save monthly from that income that you're making. Which I do both. I pay off my student loans and I save. And what's really important is putting into your 401k as much as you can still. So typically, um, they say on average to your savings account you should put 10%. We also like to tell people you should save 10 to 12%. Put it in your 401k. Currently, we are sitting and working at the insurance and transportation um, portion of it. And so our specific section, we are helping the kids figure out what kind of vehicles they want so that they can see the difference in the prices between the used and the new vehicles, and then how much it really costs to insure your vehicle as well as your home and your health insurance. Um, I have had kids, like, like Jordan said, <laughs> they've had to pick a different vehicle. They wanted the brand new $1,370 Yukon and ended up with the $432 Ford Escape. Or I've had a few that ended up riding bicycles or taking the public transportation and they realized that um, this is reality. This is what it will cost them when they're out on their own.